Life. What up, guys? This is Chivo Guides back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on The Wizard and the Slug. This game is published by Rattalaka Games and it was developed by Silkworm and Meriden 4. This game is an easy 15 minute completion or platinum trophy, and on top of that, it's only $4.99. If you're interested in picking it up, I'll have a link down in the description below, as always. This game only has 11 achievements or trophies three of which can be unlocked within the first six minutes of the main story mode and aside from those three achievements the eight other ones are all related to defeating bosses so you'd actually have to get a few hours into the game to be able to unlock all of these achievements however the game does have a separate mode called boss rush mode and this enables you to play boss battle after boss battle making it way easier to unlock these boss related achievements on top of that you can press start you can go to assist mode and you can activate invincibility infinite jump and infinite shot so go ahead and turn all three of those on and all you have to do is go ahead and tap the a button it's going to toss slime balls downward which is going to project you up and you can basically just make your way towards the right at the top of the level so just keep mashing the a button as you breeze through this level eventually you're going to get stopped with a quick cutscene, and you need to go down and talk to this injured character we're going to need to find two of her limbs once we get the limbs, we can bring it back to her and we can proceed with the story. So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to play the first six minutes of the game. We're going to unlock the three achievements, one for beginning the first act, second for punishing a bad berry, and then third for thoroughly inspecting a weird face. After we get the first three achievements in the first six minutes of the game, we're going to dive into boss rush mode and we're going to defeat the first eight bosses in that mode. You actually don't need to defeat all of them. And once you defeat the first eight bosses in boss rush mode, you'll have every single achievement or trophy in the game, giving you that full 1000G or platinum trophy. So just make sure to follow along as we get the first three achievements in the first six minutes of the story. And then after that, I'll dive back in with some more commentary. <laughs> Alright guys, so same thing, we're just going to match the A button or X button on PlayStation and we're just going to make our way to the right hand side of the level. Eventually we're going to end up shooting one of these berries and we're going to unlock the Punisher achievement or trophy for shooting a bad berry. Oh, 
Alright guys, so eventually we're going to run across a character and we're going to have an opportunity to press up to be able to interact with that character and what we want to do is just interact with the character over and over again. It's this slime ball right here with the hair. Now you just want to keep going up to the character, keep interacting with them. Again, I believe you press up and you're going to end up unlocking the face inspector achievement or trophy worth 90 gamer score. And then at this point, we have unlocked all of the achievements related to the story mode. We should only have achievements and trophies left for defeating bosses. So go over to challenges, go to the boss rush mode, and we're gonna defeat the first eight bosses in this mode. After you defeat the first eight bosses, you'll end up unlocking the full 1000 gamer score or platinum trophy. I do wanna point out that you can also activate all three options in assist mode in boss rush mode as well. So make sure that you press start, you go to assist mode and you activate all three. This is going to make it super easy to defeat all eight bosses. For most of them, you just need to hover above them and shoot the slime balls downward. But for others, you do need to change your attack. I believe you press Y to switch your weapon, but there is a button to switch your weapon. And that basically switches up the type of projectiles that are coming from your character. So if your attack isn't working, try switching weapons. Eventually, you're going to start unlocking the achievements for defeating each of these bosses. After you run through all eight bosses, you'll have the full 1000G or Platinum Trophy. At this point, I think I've given you guys a good achievement breakdown. You guys should have all the information that you need to know in terms of getting the full 1000. Because yeah, it's really as simple as that. Play the first six minutes of the game, get the first three achievements and trophies, and then after that, dive into boss rush mode and defeat the first eight bosses makes it even easier that we have that assist mode so we can activate invincibility and unlimited ammo. Again, this should only take about 15 minutes in total to get the full 1000G or platinum trophy. As always, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 12 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including TimG84, Kegger101, Kana25 and GamertagNation.com. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.